Welcome. Today's topic will be on the potential of rising taxes. You have to ask your question. Ask yourself a question. Do you believe taxes are going to rise in the future? So let's address that. President Trump signed into law in 2018 uh, the new tax law that reduced everyone's taxes. Now, that is set to expire December 31st, 2025. If Joe Biden is elected president in the fall, uh, he has already indicated that he will repeal the tax law. If President Trump is reelected, then again, uh, that tax law will stay into effect till December 31st, 2025. What does that mean for you? Well, I believe taxes are on sale today. Uh, why do I believe that? Well, let's look at the national debt. Uh, right now, we're sitting at $26 trillion. Uh, that's a lot of money. Uh, we've added almost $4 trillion since the COVID uh, struck and the economy was devastated. Uh, so we're going to have to pay that back at some point in time. Now, right now, the Federal Reserve interest rates are almost at zero. So we're not paying really any interest on that. But historically, the interest rates are going to be somewhere between five and six percent. So you can see where we'd be spending billions of dollars and possibly even a trillion. The CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, was projecting by 2028, we would be spending one trillion dollars a year in interest alone on the national debt. Now, how does that affect us? A lot of people say, well, that really doesn't affect me. It does. It affects your Medicare. It affects your Social Security. Uh, those are things. Social Security is already in trouble. In 2035, it's projected to be reduced on every dollar by 25 cents. So you'd only be getting 75 cents of, on, on the dollar unless Congress acts on that. Medicare 2026 is beginning to develop problems. So, yes. Uh, taxes will affect us in that area and paying the interest on the debt. So what if we did not have debt? Can you imagine all the money again that would be able to go for the programs that we have out there uh, where it would not put a strain on everyone? There's three buckets of money that we talk about often here at our firm, Hughes Retirement Group. Taxable, those are things that you get that would generate a 1099, a brokerage account, a checking, savings account, and so forth. Uh, tax deferred, your 401ks, 403bs, and tax free, your Roth IRAs or Roth conversions. Those are things that you be, need to begin to look at. In my professional opinion, uh, there's an ideal amount to have in your tax deferred account you ideally want to keep that amount low enough that through the standard deduction that you receive, and right now, if it's a couple over the age of 65, that's $27,400. And if you can keep your required minimum distributions, which if you're turning 70 and a half after January 1st, 2020, the new age for that is 72. But if you can keep your RMDs, uh, lower than your standard deduction, you'd still be required to take that money out of the qualified account, but you would not have to pay tax on it. So there's a strategy, there's a game plan to make sure you position yourself in a place where you can try to pay the least amount of taxes that you possibly can. It's also a time to begin to look at moving some of your money from a qualified bucket, such as your 401k, and converting and doing a Roth conversion. There's no limit on doing a Roth conversion. Uh, so that is a situation where you don't want to just all of a sudden say, that's what I'm going to do because you could end up paying a substantial amount in taxes. There's a right way to do it. And that's again, what we do at our firm is between ourselves, a CPA or a tax attorney, we're going to sit down with and, and calculate how much money could be converted over to a Roth conversion. That's going to help you in the long run because taxes are going to continue to rise. They have to. Uh, we have a lot of programs out there. You have politicians talking about adding more programs. They usually are not talking about taking them away. And so prepare yourself now that uh, in the future, 
you can possibly be to uh, be in a position you could be tax free or very tax efficient because there is a partner in your 401k or 403b. When you look at your statement, it has your name on it. There's another name on it, and that's called the IRS. Prepare yourself now. If you have any questions, give us a call. We'll be more than glad to help you. 423-664-4203. I hope this information has helped you, and we'll be adding other topics uh, in the future. Thank you.